One of my favorite, hi guys, Fozzie here. One of my favorite adaptations of of a, bo a book turned into film would be Sleepy Hollow. Disney has an awesome version, but like, I, I really think that always felt like it was missing something. So, I, I gave the Tim Borden one a watch a while ago, and I thought it's a pretty solid story. But it didn't grab me as much as I wish it had, and I think it should have. So, is this one I'd see or one I'd pass? Well, let's start by the highs and lows. The highs was top casting Johnny Depp as Ichabod Crane. Johnny does a really good job in, like, well, really try is the perfect as, like, the 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 teacher who we always we root for and, like, the caring teeth they get there. A good decision, too, is that it includes Crane's backstory. Somebody whose father killed his mother and then they hung his father for the crime. So, so we obviously do see a whole lot of good things about it. Another decision is to, that, to establish in this version that the Headless Horseman is in fact a real man, a real villain, and not just Brom Bones in disguise. Brom is an equally good villain in it as somebody who you just want to punch, but he's more of an asshole than an actual villain. I like its choice to have it be a version that, like, well, without spoiling too much, we really can relate to its ending, you know? We... It doesn't steal away anyway from Orvin's magical work, and that's one thing that is good. It's like probably the movie that, like, Washington Orvin would have wanted. Unfortunately, it's because of that that the movie didn't really grab me. I... I want to see a version of this that, like, tw of anything, Tim Borden, that I'm going to enjoy all the way through. And, well, kind of the best scene for me was the the horse chase in the last last 20 minutes. It was, it was like, pretty good and, like, pretty much an awesome sequence that wiped from Orvin's book. It, in my opinion, even though some people might argue the book is better left alone, I like an ending that is concluded. I just don't feel like in the special itself, it just really doesn't seem to me like I'm, I'm happy really with the ending of being left alone. In the book, it's, it war manages to work because, like, well, it's a it's more of a mystery story, and the headless horseman doesn't really appear. But in that Disney special, I don't know why. I don't even really think it leaves it anonymous and stuff. You know, people have often just come right out and said that, like, like. It does end with Quain dying and Brom marrying Katrina and won't we'll ever know, but like, I don't know. It, it, it really just only kind of leaves it as a rumor. Well, so my final conclusion is would I recommend it? Yeah, if you're a fan of the book, maybe. Maybe even if you want to see an amazing Tim Borden movie, i do it. But if you're not really that into it, I'm going to say no. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and happy Halloween. Arrivederci.